Hello everyone, Exedra here bringing you episode 3 of Skybeast 2, a mod pack by Valen. So, in the last episode, I feel like we got a really great B start. Uh, the problem is that I didn't get to the rest stone B yet, because these just take forever to grow. And I wanted to check the timer on it, and obviously she like the bee went back into the beehive, but... I think they're like at 800 or 900 seconds, so I would have had to record like another 10 minutes just to get that bee. So I decided instead that I would just cut to back to the next episode and just continue because there's just so much work to get done anyway. I worked on the seed ore and we got all of the seeds. And all of those can be duplicated, so I'm good. I've got all, 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 all of the seeds. And I've also set up the sugar cane, and we already have a stack and a half. And nether wart, which we already have a stack and a half. And why the nether wart? Well, the nether wart are important because if you come here, tempered glass jar, nether warts are used with something else to make blitz or basals or blizz or endermen to get ender pearls. So, like, or blaze to get blaze rods. So, it's something that we're going to need a lot of. I th would like to get into killing some mob today, but let's be honest, I'm not 100% sure. So, first thing that I want to do today is continue working on the bees, always. Like, I need to make sure that we're being productive and we're being really mindful of those new bees. But I also want to try and get to our first piece to, of automation for the hive, because that time that I'm spending just picking up honeycomb and shearing the hives is taking a bit too much of my time and i'm always worried slash concerned that i'm doing something else and then i come back oh they're all full darn it i didn't grab every resources that i could like this one like this one is important i need the cinnabar and this is going to become the redstone spot to be working like overdrive over time so i cannot be um careless like this gold i need a lot of gold i need to collect it so i just want to get those things done and basically i just need a little bit of redstone uh, i need some redstone some gold and some uh iron to automate those and i'm going to need an ender pearl for the pickup i've decided to go with the vacuumulator and the reason i've decided to go with the vacuumulator is that it's got an 11 by 11 range to pick up stuff and it's 410 uh, uh, one hopper like a couple of iron and an ender pearl and it can cover multiple like i think it can cover four of those if we form a square and we put it in the center so that's really what i'm going to want to work toward also 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 i except for the snow bee i finished all of the other bees and i just need to start uh retiring some bees what i mean by that now let me show you is that if I'm looking at the cobblestone bee, if you remember, well, I'm going to need it for the cinnabar, but I made the iron, I made the copper, I made the, I didn't make the dielectric paste, I made the nickel, I made the cinnabar, I, I didn't make the tin bee yet, I didn't make the lead bee yet, so I need to finish those bees. So let's just do the tin bee because we're going to need that for the vacuumulator anyway. So I'm going to grab two cobblestone and two diorite and I'm going to breed those two bees together. you um i'm gonna wait for a cobblestone bee to come out though like i'm just concerned that the diorite bee is gonna go back in the uh i've gonna keep them interested in me yeah so one of you and one of you wait for them to breed great so now we have a tin bee then one of you and the other one of you and that's going to be a second 10B. Perfect. Now, the way this work, as we've explained before, let's grab four of those. I'm going to need 18 cobblestone. And I'm going to need 18 diorite. And we're going to make the nectar block immediately so that these baby bees can start making uh, in nectar honeycomb thingies. So let's just do this and this. And come over here. And then we're going to say tin. 
and this is the tin bee nectar block let's do this one and so my idea is that i want to start retiring some bees so what i mean by that is let's look at the granite bee if i look that's why i pinned them here if i look at the granite bee and i look at the breeding is that Granite with granite as granite, and granite with sand is going to give fluorite. Do we need the fluorite bee now? No. Are we going to need the fluorite bee at some point? Yes. Once the granite bees have produced the fluorite bees, though, I don't need them anymore. I'm just going to need 18 to make the fluorite block, and I should be good. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's grab the two sand, and then I'm going to go grab a stack of sand, and we're going to bre uh, breathe the diorite. Uh, the granite with the um, whew, words, the diorite with the sand bee, and I'm immediately going to swipe the fluoride bees, and I'm just going to put them away. When I need them, I'm going to bring them out, but for now, I don't need them, so I'm going to leave them uh, in a box for a while. So let's come in here, and we're going to spawn one and two. Two of those bees, and then we're going to grab a granite bee, and a sand bee, and breed them together. Yeah, that's really not what I wanted to do. Okay, so that one's done. And that was the other granite. And where's my other sand bee? Voila. That's going to give me, and now I can grab this granite, and that granite, and that fluorite, and that fluorite, and those are going to be bee retired. Let's just, do I have wood? I don't have wood here. That's not going to be take a long time. I just need to go grab some wood. And I want to make some chests. And I'm going to start my retiring uh, setup. If I do this. I'm going to put this and this. This and this. And we're going to start... So two granite, two fluorite. We're going to put the two fluorite here. And just to make sure that we don't screw up and run out of granite or whatnot, I also will always put them with what they need. So the fluorite bees, let me just search for fluorite. Fluorite. So we're going to need a fluorite nectar block, which is two granite and two sand. So right here, two granite and two sand. 14, 15, oh. We already have 18 right here. So here's what I'm going to do. We don't have the two sand only comb yet. So I'm going to put those two right here in the meantime, just so that I don't spend them all. Then let's go underground and let's go and prepare for, we're going to want to set up some water bee and uh, we're going to want to set up some water bee and we're going to want to set up the sand bee. Those are two materials that will go through. So we're going to replace the granite here with some sand and we're going to put the water here. Well, we're going to put the water there when we're ready. I'm going to replace the granite with the sand right now so that the sand bee can start working because we don't need the granite anymore. Get out of my way. Oh, almost hit him. And voila, perfect. So sand bees can start working. And we're going to be able to remove this. So now the granite bee has been retired. Now, if I look at the diorite bees, the diorite bee is going to give me marble, which is important. So that's going to be my next breeding once the sand bee is back to working. Or I can do diorite and cobblestone right now. No, I've got the tin already. I need to do the appetite, which is going to need to wait for the tin bee to grow. Saying that, though, now that we have the tin bee, I should probably make this, the tin bee ector. So two cobblestone, two diorite. So we're going to quickly go sleep, and we're going to make that nectar block. And then we're going to take a quick look at the um, the other thing. Oh, my God, the other thing. Uh, the cinnabar bee. You know what? I'm going to make two more. Like, I, I really want to get done with the cobblestone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two more cobblestone bee just so that I can breed a bit faster and get rid of them a bit faster. So cobblestone right here, plate, perfect. So now that I have this, I need to make the tin 
Uh, so one, two, three, four. I'm going to need um, 18 diorite and I'm going to need 18 cobblestone. Oh, see, see, that's what I mean. I only have 10 cobblestone. I'm not producing the cobblestone fast enough to be able to create all of these. Uh... Oh, I did make the tin already. Derp, derpy, derpy, derp. Uh, let's just remove this and put that. And oh, I'm going to show you like this uh, normal B, this uh, just basic Minecraft B right here. I'm still keeping because of something very precise. Let me just check so I don't need you. I don't need you. Don't need any of those things. And you know what? I can put those in the retired but useful. These are retired, no longer useful or retired while well, not used yet. These are the one that I might need to reset up. Like the copper bee, I might need to reset up. Anyway, see, I only have five honeycombs and this is why I'm keeping this bee around is that I completely forgot the all the bees is not talking about the bee. It's talking about having a honeycomb of each. And until I have the first honeycomb block, it's not going to unlock. So, yeah, I'm going to have to wait until I get the uh, nine honeycomb. Then I'm going to be able to retire that one. Let's just collect. My redstone bees are 300 seconds. So that's like five, about five minutes. Oh my God, I just want to sneeze. This is annoying. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just trying not to sneeze right now. And it's just... Whew. Okay, so back to the crappy things I was doing. Okay, like I was saying, right now we're kind of in a waiting pattern. So I thought that instead of waiting, let's get started on Tinker Smelt Tree and the Tinker Quest line. So we're going to be careful because right now we can't like see we've done seared brick already but we never made the part chest so because we've never made the part chest we're kind of not unlocking the next section so even though i see no real reason to make the part chest i'm gonna make the part chest because we need to have a part chest isn't that like wonderful let's just do this and this and then we're gonna go like this and you know what uh, what is not B stuff? So this is not B stuff. This is not B stuff. Not B stuff. Not B stuff. Just grab all of the non B stuff that's in here because yeah, that's a bit better. Okay. And bring that all over here anyway. So we're going to now make the part chest that I'm immediately going to dump in here. And then we're going to say, nope, nope. Put all of, I'm going to keep this iron on me and get rid of these things. Great. So now I need to make more grout because, uh, like I said, I didn't unlock the quest before. So until I have unlocked every quest, I really can't move forward. So I'm going to make a bit more grout again. It's it's going to be useful anyway. There's no real, real loss here. Let's do this, this, oh, this. And this, and make more grout. Grab more sear bricks. See, it's now unlocked. That's exactly what I wanted to do. So let's do that. And now let's go crazy. Grab all of this and this. So I should have unlocked everything. Perfect. So now we want a seared melter. They're going to need casting basin, casting table, faucet. So faucet, casting basin, casting table, seared heater. Uh, and then I know these by heart. So this and this is going to be like the small brain. This right here. So we've got the first setup. This is should be completed. Yes, perfect. So we're just going to do a very temporary setup where I'm going to grab seared heater, seared melter, casting basin, and this. And now we're going to need four copper. So we're going to go three copper. Perfect. We're going to wait and add one more. Fourth copper. The moment this is melted, we're going to have enough copper to transform the seared heater into a smeltery controller. Let's grab you. 
and it doesn't matter if it's melted, it will stay melted. Put it in the casting basin and pour over it. Now we can remove this and this. And voila, smeltery controller. So now I'm doing something bad. I'm forgetting to empty those. That's why, like, that's why I said we need to automate this ASAP because whenever you forget to empty those, you're like totally wasting time at that point. So grab this and you know what? I'm going to do the round because yeah, this one's probably full, which means I'm not getting the maximum quantity of iron that I can. This one is also full. I wanted to check on the age, but they're always in there. <gasps> 132. So in two minutes. So what we're going to do is we're going to craft the last Meltry element that we need. And then we're going to immediately uh, take care of uh, those bees. So if I come here, the last element that we need is a two seared drain, one seared chute, a seared fuel tank and 27. So I'm going to do this and this and seared tank. I'm going to make three. One, two, three. Then... This is going to be drain or shoot? One shoot, two drain, and then we're going to go, nope, we're going to go 32. Oh my God, 32. And this is another quest line completed. And right now we should be good for the redstone bee. So for the redstone bee, we're going to need 18 of those. We're going to need 18 cobblestone and we're going to need some honey. So let's just do this and this for the honey. Oh, and I completely forgot. Can I do another cobblestone? Yes. And grab this cobblestone and let's go spawn it immediately. Like I said, we need so many cobblestone stuff. It's just good to do that. That should bring me the last cobblestone that I'm missing. Yeah, I'm going to be good for the redstone bee. So let's get rid of this and this and this and this. And we're going to do two couple. So I'm going to want two redstone uh, set up though. That's going to be very important. So redstone. Perfect. And now let's go grab our two bees so that we can breed them together. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do the reverse. Let me pick up two cobblestone bees from here. Okay, two cobblestone. Then we're going... Oh, I, I almost forgot. Thank God we have enough cinnabar because we need two cinnabar per cinnabar bee for breathing. They don't need one, they need two. So let's just grab four of those. Perfect. And then the cobblestone. And we're going to go into this house and that's where we're going to do the breeding oh god i hate oh why <clears throat> they decided to go into the beehive you have to be careful when you're standing next to the beehive the bee can pop on the side or the front and sometimes they just clip into the beehive. So that's always worrying. So just be be aware and careful of that. Perfect. That's going to be one bread. And then this. And where's the other one? Oh, this one's already bread. Do the next one. And voila! We have our two redstone babies. <sighs> so that's done. Uh, which means we can get rid of this. Which means we can bring those back in here. Put it here. And here. And see how these are already full. Also, one other thing is those are tier 1 beehive. I'm going to want to make these beehive a higher tier pretty soon. So let's just come back here. And look at this. And I'm going to retire the normal bee the moment that we have nine honeycomb for that bee. Okay, so that's all done. Uh, let's go uh, set up the smell tree. And I'm going to set her up right here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
And then we're going to put one in the corner here and one in the corner here. That's a build trick that I figured out recently. So then I can put, I'm going to put the three tank behind because I'm going to automate the lava and just feed it directly. And then on this side, I'm going to put one normal and then I'm going to put the two sear drain. So sear drain, sear drain. Then I'm going to go normal, null tree controller, normal. And then I'm going to go normal. Uh, nope, sorry, not normal. This one's going to be the seared shoot. So seared shoot right here. Seared shoot is how you put item in the smeltery. Let's just do this. And right now I'm being dumb. My bees are not working because it's night. So let's go sleep immediately. And then we'll continue with this whole thing. Okay, so... Uh, we have enough to make another full layer, so I'm going to make another full layer. I don't need this to be super enormous, but uh, six, I need 12, six, seven. Let's pick you up because that's not the best way of, of climbing up there. Uh, so let's do this. Okay, let me just seven. And if I do this, I just need 12, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Perfect. I'm not going to use all of the rest of the seared brick because I'm probably going to want to do something with those seared brick at some point. So I want to keep a little bit. And like I said, I don't need this smell tree to be super ginormous right now. <clears throat> well, I guess I don't know how to count to 12. Voila. And then I'm going to put this one here. And I'm going to put the casting basin here. And I'm going to put a seared faucet on each. And I'm going to show you why I made this setup like this. Very important in my mind. I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to pick view up. And we're going to make a lever. Like this. Okay. So the reason I've done this. The seared shoot is on this side. Because I can do that. And auto insert item. And this one's on this side because then I can turn it on. When it's on, it's just going to cast and pour and cast and pour and cast and pour. And this one I only use once in a while manually. So that's why I set it up like this. Now let's go. Do I have any food? Yeah, I still have some food. So now let's go take a look at the bees. And look at the next uh, bee that I can breed. Okay, so let's look at my diorite bee. We said that for the diorite bee, we need to make the marble bee and we need to make the appetite bee. So where's my tin bee situation? Where are my tin bees? They're still uh, hidden, so I don't know. This is a tin bee, 84 second. Oh, we can wait, we can wait. So we're gonna come over here. I'm gonna need two tin and two diorite. Perfect. So let's just make the two tin right now. And we're just going to breed my two tin bee with my two diorite bee. And I'm going to be one step away from finishing the diorite bees. So, oh, I didn't grab the tin. So that's not smart. Let's come back over here, grab the tin. Now that's smarter. Perfect. Grab this. I'm going to hold the tin in my hand because the moment the tin bee comes out, it's going to come flying at me because it's going to be attracted. Oh, it's not because it's still 20 something second. Let's do this. Come on, tin bee. You know you want to grow. Become an adult. 12, 10 second. We can wait. We can wait. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, become big. And you go. And you go. And make tinny babies. Just wait for them to pop the baby out. Yes, perfect. If you don't wait, there's a chance that your two diorite bee or your two tin bee are going to breathe together. And then you're going to get a baby that you don't want. And I'm going to use those two empty jars because I'll be honest, right now, I do not need the fluoride bee at all. I'm just breeding them to get them out of the way. I'm going to go like this and like this. And then I'm going to right click on the diorite. 
we still need to make the marble one and the marble one's really important but what i want to see is what do i need for the appetite two blocks of tin and two blocks of diorite so what i'm going to do i'm not close to having two blocks of tin but what i'm going to do is at least like we did last time prepare the two blocks of diorite that i'm going to put right here to say this is reserved for the fluoride b so this way i'm not going to mistakenly just use all of it and be in a situation where i'm like oh crap i don't have that b anymore so let's put her right here and let's continue harvesting and are we done no eight so close so one more and we would be done okay so now 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 we're going to go and make our first um pattern i'm going to do this i'm going to want to upgrade my pickaxe upgrade my kama and upgrade my axe so i'm going to grab these three and then i'm going to come oh i'm going to also need some lava this thing doesn't work without lava so i'm just going to come over here with some lava put it in here and i'm going to put three ingot of gold i could have put it directly in the smell tree i just like doing it this way and oh yes okay one interesting thing that i completely forgot i'm always out of water and I'm tired of dealing with that mess. So let me grab five of you. And let me grab a bucket of water. And let's come over here. And if I go five like this and a water bucket and three of you up here, I'm going to craft myself a sink. And that sink, if I place it like up here and I come back to this, I can stop it and restart it and now we have infinite water so this is just going to be producing clays as long as there's sand in here it's going to be making clay so this is going to be reserved for infinite clay okay so back here we should now have the gold we do and then we can go uh axe head pickaxe head and you know what i need to put some uh iron one, two, three, four, five, I believe. And blade. And the moment that I have the iron smelted up, it's going to become red. Yep. I'm going to do an, a, a, a small blade. Pickaxe head. And axe head. Oh, it was two each. Darn it. I thought I was being smart and being like efficient, putting the minimum required possible, but I ended up just derping it. And now I, I have to wait a bit longer because I'm just a derp that likes to derp all the time while derping. Come on. Give me my last iron. And then I'm going to go upgrade those tools and put those cast away because I don't foresee using those cast for a little while now. So let's just go dump all of those here then grab the camera right here then we're going to need to repair them before we can upgrade them and we're no longer going to need cobblestone here because if we need to repair those now going to cost iron which is a bit more expensive but with the b setup it's kind of like we're gonna have infinite uh iron anyway at some point i'm never going to need the seared melter either I'm going to put this away for now because I don't see using the sear brick immediately and then we should be good to continue. But let's come back here and remember to empty this. And we have the last comb. I'm pretty sure this is the ninth comb. So let's just go over here. And yeah, it's the ninth comb. But we're going to grab this beautiful bee and say, be gone. Goodbye. And I'm going to pick up the... Uh, yeah, I'm going to pick up the flower and I'm going to keep the flower with that bee. Which means we can now start unlocking the bee quest line. So I'm just going to do this. Oh, yeah. So for whatever reason, and I don't remember, I discovered that in my other playthrough. I need this one. This is the one... It's only craftable in a normal crafting. It's like, what and why? Don't know, but that's what it is. 
Okay, so now technically we can start like just getting rid of a lot of crap. I, I'm probably going to do that in a time lapse. But now if I do this, that's going to recognize the iron honeycomb. And then I'm going to do the same with the gold. And then I'm going to do the same with the diorite. Like, I'm not, I just wanted to show you. But for all of those that we have, if I go back to the bee stuff right here, all the bees, see, one done, and there's going to be another one with a check mark, another one here, and another one here. So I'm going to do that for all of them. It's just I'm going to do that in a time lapse. We don't really have to waste the time. <gasps> do I have the redstone? Did, did I ever make the redstone block? Yes. Oh, that was a derp. So now we've been unfortunately wasting a little bit of time. These could have been producing redstone honeycomb and we could already be flush with redstone honeycomb. Uh, the cinnabar bee, uh, just a second. So the cinnabar bees, if I go to this, I need, I, I need them to make the redstone. Like, do I have enough to make a second redstone? That's the biggest question. No, I do not. So that's why I'm keeping them. I want to have two redstone block just like the gold i have two and the iron i have two i want two for those also okay so let's just grab this and we're going to need more gold for what we're going to be doing this episode so let's just start crushing some gold and so the smell oh yes okay now that the smell tree is done let me show you another thing that i want to do First off, I'm going to make a second bucket because one bucket is really not a lot. Okay, and with that second bucket, I never broke this because if you break this, you're going to lose the content. So I wanted to empty it because this is important. Now, the reason I'm doing this is the new... Uh, the, do you see the glass, how it doesn't merge? I hate this. I, I think it looks ugly. So what I want to do basically is I want to get to... Um, I want to get to clear glass and clear glass is made in a smeltery by melting sand and casting it back. So if I come back here, what's the situation here? I don't, I only have three, so not good. I'm going to grab three more of you that I'm going to break down into clay ball that I'm going to go like this, this and this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a just uh, uh, finish my automated setup to be able to grab the content of the basin. OK, I'm out of chest. I thought I had a chest over here. You know what? Let's just stop messing around and let's just make four more chests. Great. And these should be finished. Yes, they are. Let's grab all of these. And I'm going to make two. This. Oh my God. Yeah, two like this. And I'm going to grab those two. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a chest here. And then I'm going to break. Let's just do it like this. This, this, and this. And I'm going to put a chest here. And this right here, and now I need a cobblestone to close that gap. Okay, just so that you understand what's going to be going on. Now, this is full of glass. I'm just going to turn this on, and this is going to be um, just pouring uh, melted glass into the seared casting basin. And once it's done, the hopper is going to pick it up, boop, and put it in this chest, and we're starting with clear glass. So we're going to be producing a lot in my time lapse. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make another one of these auto uh, processing block, another tempered glass jar and another soul campfire and another chest. And I'm going to put that in the corner here and have a, a cable go under all of these three seared fuel tank. And I think it's going to push lava into it. And what I'm going to do is I'm also going to have a chest so that if we have overproduced lava, at least we have the little lava um, tubes like we did last time. So that, because if you have, there's no place to put it. 
Let me come back over here. Have we gotten our first redstone? Three. Yes, we have our first redstone. So that's going to be 18. And by the way, okay, so now that we have the 18 that we need, we're going to make the second redstone and we're going to retire that bee. So grab this cinnabar honey block. Uh, what am I doing here? Oh, I need you. I need this and these. Like so. And it's cinnabar and what? It's cinnabar and... Oh, we're going to need more cinnabar for lapis. Okay, so I'm going to leave the, the cinnabar a little bit. But it's going to be two cinnabar and two cobblestone. We've got exactly what we need cobblestone-wise. So that's kind of lucky. Let's just go like this and right here. And this is cinnabar and cobblestone. Let's make a second one. And again, we need to go collect from these bees. Okay. And put all of this in here. Breeding wise. So if I go back to my endocyte B, the endocyte and the endocyte was used to make the lead. Oh, we didn't make the, the lead B yet. So we need endocyte and cobblestone. So endocyte, one, two. And cobblestone, we already have plenty. Let's breed those bees. Let's make the lead. And the site and cobblestone. Let's make the second lead bee. And now if I look at the end of site, so I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna have to wait 10 minutes to breed them again to get the silver bee. But at least like this one started. Uh do I have everything? Nope. See, now I need 18 more cobblestone just to be able to uh make the um lead block, and I'm gonna need that's why I needed more cobblestone bees. Like I'm so out on cobblestone. And the site, though, I'm going to be good. Let's make uh, 1836. Let's make the four block right now. Oh, the four block right now. Yeah, so we've got those ready. Okay. That's already full. <laughs> this is crazy. I really need to replace these hive. The reason I'm not doing it yet is that to replace, you cannot break a hive when there's bees around. So when I do that, I'm going to need to remove all of the bees completely. Like I'm, I'm going to have to take them all in my, uh, in my hand. Like no choice. Like no, no joke, no choice. I'm gonna have to grab all of them and remove all of them before I break the hive. But let's do this and let's go see the redstone situation. We should have more redstone. Yes, we do. Okay, let's start processing some redstone. So if I grab this, I'm going to put... Oh, let's finish that gold first. Once that gold is finished, we're going to do all the redstone. And now we're going to be working on our bee automation. I'm keeping an eye on those because if two become full, I'm going to go empty them. Like, I do not want to mess around. I need the cobblestone. I need everything. I need all of the stuff. continue that a little bit oh all three are full let's just go take a tiny break from the centrifuge and go collect those oh my god it's so hard to exit Let's put all of these and I didn't want to get, I need to keep those so that I know my, my status. Okay, so let's grab all of this gold and now let's put all of this redstone. It always scares me when I hear noises of a bee being hurt. Okay, so let's do a little bit of cleanup. Uh, this is done. This is done. Done, 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 and done. Great. So now we need to make, for automation, we need a timer. We need a dispenser. 
we need a scraper and the vacuumulator in the end. So let's start with the, the automated scraper. So, we're, uh, sorry, let's make a scraper. The scraper recipe I know by heart. So I'm just going to go one and two and three iron ingot like this. We're going to need more than one. But for now, let's just make one. And then we're going to need a dispenser, which I think I remember by heart. I think it's redstone and a bow. Yeah. So let's just do this and grab a bow. And unfortunately, I'm out of leaves. Really? Okay. So let's just, let's do a little bit of Kama leaf stuff so that we have more string. Let's do this. And another one. Great. So if I come back here, we can do this and get 21 more string. And let's just put this in here for now. Can we get a second bow? No, because we are missing stick of all things. So let's just do this and two and three. Perfect. Three for now. We're going to go like this and this and this. So there's going to be one dispenser, two dispenser, three dispenser. Perfect. And we're going to need some uh, like this. And now let's do the timer. <laughs> timer right here. So we're going to need three clock. Uh, one, two, three clock. Perfect. And now, oh, I need a lot more redstone. Who I, I miscalculated that. So, Q machine base. Ooh, that used my stone. So, let's put another stack right here. And let's go get some more redstone because we... I should probably not have made three clock to begin with. I should have probably just made one. But see, this one's no longer producing because I've not collected. So, collected. And now we can continue. And those are full. Yeah. See, I really need to replace and automate those ASAP. Like, this is really, really, really something that's uh, keeping me behind. And these, perfect. Oh, no, and this too. Let's continue. And I'm going to go sleep because I keep telling you guys, bees do not work during the night. So it's always important to be sleeping. And come on, wake me up. Five, so we need one, two, three, like that. One, two, three. Yeah, okay. And then it's going to be four. So I need two more redstone. So this, these guys here are my limiting factor by a lot. <laughs> okay, um, just picking up things that I need to pick up to be clean. Okay, and I still don't have enough cobblestone to make my lead. Like, this lead bees are, like, they're just miserable because they have nothing to munch on. And I'm basically just waiting on the cobblestone. And by the way, I'm waiting on the cobblestone, and I have four cobblestone bee working full time. So let's just come back over here. Like, don't need all of these iron, but it's good to collect them. Is the gold ready? Yes, of course, the gold's ready. So let's also pick up the gold. But you, you're the one that I want. Oh, <laughs> that's that's really lucky. And they just filled out when I needed it the most. And that should be enough to make one more. Uh, well, I mean to make our first timer. Timer's the expensive part of this whole thing. Well, no, the vacuumulator is, but we're going to need less vacuumulator. So if I come here and I do this, I should be now able to make my first timer, which means I can make the whole setup and explain it to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up here first because that's the one that I need the most resource from. So by placing it behind, it's facing the beehive. And here's the thing. When you use a shear, everything popped out all at once, but the shears get damaged. The scraper does not get damaged. So, but it only pops up one comb at a time. So we're going to put the scraper here and then I'm going to go and pick up some of my building material to set up space to go behind. Ouch, ouch. So this and this. So I'm just 
going to continue the same pattern because I'm going to be making the next one right here. So it should be this. Nope, not this one right here. This one is an edge. So edge are like this and edge right here. This. And this one right here. And then here. Perfect. Break this. And now we're going to break the glass. And we're going to set this like this. Okay. And we're going to leave it at that delay. So maybe we'll make the click faster at some point. But for now, that's okay. So now what it's doing. See, it's going to start popping out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And voila. By the way. Okay. So one thing that. Uh, this sound file here, uh, sorry, this sound file muffler, it seems to be set up uh, by game. Like, I, I don't know why, but my clicker, my timer, or, or my uh, dispenser, see, I've already semi-muted it because I didn't want to hear the click, 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 click all the time. So the beauty of what I've just done is that as I go forward... At least the honeycombs, they take a while to despawn, but they're always going to be collected. So once in a while, it's like I'm not wasting any time. It's always collected, which is really great. And now that's the automated setup that we're going to do for everything. So for everything from now on, we're going to put a dispenser behind just like I did right here and a timer. And we're just going to need a vacuum to pick those up. Like I said, the vacuum later has an 11 by 11 range. So if I put it in this corner, it will cover this room, the room behind, the room here, and that room forward. So we're totally going to be doing that as part of the time lapse. I just wanted to quickly show you the automation. One here. I'm going to put one behind the gold. And now I'm just missing the two timer, but see, I don't even have enough redstone for two timer right now. So if I do this, I have enough torch for the two timers and I have the two clock. Uh, I don't have the second base. So I'm going to need a second base, but now I need eight redstone. So I'm basically just limited by this factor over here. Do I have the second redstone block? Yes. What am I waiting on these for? So cinnabar. Again, I just don't remember what it was exactly. Um, oh, Lapis. I'm going to need to breed them with uh, RGBB. You know what? Let's do that right now. Like, let's just... That's another bee that we haven't picked up yet. And let's just grab four Cinnabar. Oh. Four Cinnabar. We're going to put in here. Do this. And then it's going to be Cinnabar with RGB. Oh, what do RGB be need? Um, let's just look at the Cinnabar B. It's easier. So the Cinnabar B can be breeded with an RGB B, which just needs a flower to get Lapis B. So let's just get that done. Do I have two flowers? I would like to use the two Azure Blue if I can. If they don't work, I'll use the Poppy. But I'd like to get rid. I'd like to keep the. I feel like the poppy are a bit more useful. So now I've got. I've got this. I need to grab two of these jars, and I need to. Oh no 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 no! I want you to to stay on me. I need to grab my two RGBB that we're going to come over here and spawn and pick up, and spawn spawn and pick up. And we're going to go into this teeny, teeny, tiny room to do this breeding. So this is going to be you and one, two. Come on, make a bee baby. Perfect. And you. And you too. And voila. We now have two Lapis Baby in here. And I think we're going to be able to retire the Cinnabar soon. That's 18. That's going to give us one Lapis Block. I want to be able to make two Lapis Blocks. So I'm going to need 36 of these Cinnabar before we go further. Oh, and by the way, 
also in my time lapse. Uh, I'm, this is something I'm going to be doing in my time lapse. But do you see cinnabar honeycomb not yet eaten? If I do this, I just need to eat one of each. And now if I mouse over, it says eaten. But all of this, these honeycomb will just make me overpowered super fast. There's so many honeycomb and you can eat one of each. So that's totally going to be a thing. Let me grab all of this and let's get out of here. Let me check up on my time and okay. So I'm not going to do the vacuumulator in this episode because I need to spawn some um, some Enderman and kill them. But and I need a cleaver for that. But there is a little something that I want to do right now with you guys. So let me put all of this away. I'm going to be able to keep my poppy, which I'm happy about. Let's grab all of you. Let's put my poppies away. Let's do those base. That other base, I mean, like this. Okay, so I want to do a little... I want to get into simple storage network today. So if I do this, I have now the network cable and basically the quest line that I'm following is this one here. So I have my network cable. Now I'm going to want my network storage. So at simple network. But we're going to need four block of iron. Oh, we still have a lot of iron that we can process, but we're able to do this. We're also going to need a cast iron gear. So let's make the storage network root. That's the brain. So brain done. Please go away. Now we need to make the storage inventory, which is going to require some like this. So that's the storage inventory. Oh, I should have used a dual right here. Oh, well. And we're going to transform the storage inventory into the craft storage request table. But what was I missing? I'm missing some crafting table. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to keep the other one that I've produced near the B setup because in case there's something else that cannot be crafted. And voila. Okay. So we technically no longer need you. And we can put this right here. And we could put the brain right here. And... This, I want... Oh, sorry. How do I make the link cable around the chest? So, do I have a chest? If... Oh, my God. The amount of chest again. The amount of chest that I seem to be going through is a bit crazy. So, grab one like this and do one, two, three, four. Like this. And then I'm going to go one cable right here. One and one. And if I come back over here, we now have access to our old storage system with auto crafting. So I no longer need to click here and search for that one item or click there and search for that one item. So our simple storage network is crafted. Now, the one thing, oh, I didn't put filtered. I'll make them filtered later. But now the problem that I dislike is that in this mod pack, uh, first of all, you need, if I look at simple network, you do not have an import cable and an export cable. You need to make a network exchange interface. No, that's not this one. Sorry. Network connection. Wait. Network exchange endpoint of the network for inventory connection. And this one is item inserted. Okay. So this is to collect stuff. Okay. If you want to enter thing in your network, you need to craft this. But all, each one of these are going to require a storage inventory and four speed upgrade. And the four speed upgrade is like, we're going to use it manually, but we're not going to use it to export or import stuff, unfortunately. Let's go sleep. And the Tinker Smell Tree probably stopped because it ran out of lava. Oh, or sand? No, it ran out of lava. Okay, so we're going to just continue is there one last thing that i'd like to show you let's just go here i've done the storage interface the storage network route the storage request table i've done a timer dispenser scraper i've done those two cables so basically the things that were super important for me today have been done 
But what I'm going to do now, this is a bit of a shorter episode, but it's not a bad thing. And the reason I say it's not a bad thing is that I've got some bee breeding to do, and I've got some... Uh, I need to finalize these automation pieces. So what I'm going to do, first of all, let's come here. I'm going to grab all of these things and put them back just so that I can complete the quest. Uh, I'm going to be breeding these bees and replacing them. And what I mean by that is uh, if I come back here to the andesite bee, well, I just need andesite and lead to get silver. And then my andesite bees are done forever. Like, I'm well, forever. Can put them away. Diorite, the only one that I have left to do is the marble bee. So diorite and sand is going to get me the marble bee. And I'm just basically wood and lava is going to get me coal. I'm just going to continue breeding the chain so that I get to the next more interesting bees. <laughs> and I'm going to prepare and oftentimes come here and collect stuff. And I'm going to prepare more bee houses. Oh, I never put it in here. I didn't put the scraper, so that's why it's not automated yet. But it's only missing the timer and the scraper, which is waiting for some more redstone. But like I was saying, I'm going to continue bee breeding. And one of the main, the first thing I'm going to do for sure, I'm going to get in there and collect every single bee and put them in a jar. Okay. And I'm going to replace the three hives. Let me show you right now what I'm going to do. This is a tier two beehive. Okay. The next level of a tier two beehives require is a tier three. Tier four is not something, well, we could, but it's a bit pushed. Um, so if I look here, what I have the most right now is this wood. So if I grab this wood, 36 wood, and I grab this beeswax, just going to do one with you guys to show you. I'm going to do three. So on seven. And that's eight. And that's going to be four. Four of those. I don't... Oh, my God. I, I'm going to use some more of these. I was going to say... I, maybe I'm going to use some of the iron, but I'm not really comfortable using the iron right now. So, one, two, one, two, one, two. Nope. These go in the corner. Sorry. These go in the cross. And these two are going to become tier three. And tier three, max bees eight, max honeycomb 10, and I have time modification 15. So I'm going to make three of those to replace these three. I would prefer replacing those because those are more important resources. But here, as you can see, they're always full, always, always full. And that's slowing the bee production and that's slowing me on cobblestone and stuff. So. I'm going to be replacing those, but I'm going to do that in my time lapse. Uh, I'm also going to be making a lapis block so I can replace the cinnabar with a lapis block. And I'm just going to make sure that I have this 36 cinnabar so that I'm comfortable. Like, oh, I've got the 36 cinnabar, so I'm going to be able to make two lapis block in due time and just get rid of these because right now for the cinnabar for the lapis, I'm going to need two RGBB. And I haven't put down the RGBB yet, so it's going to be part of the things that I'm going to do. In the next episode, we're going to get started with Botania, because Botania is going to give us snow to be able to make the last bee that we're missing, the snow bee. It's going to get us mushroom to be able to uh, unlock the... Um, what was the mushroom for? The mushroom is for... Mushroom... Oh, for the slime bee, for the slime block, because we're going to need to start... Oh, my God, it's already full. I just collected those, like, moments ago. So do you see how important it is to automate those? So I'm also going to put three dispenser behind those and break the wall and put one timer for all three. But uh, this is what I'm going to be doing. That's all time-lapse stuff. And next episode, we're going to start with Tanya. So I'm going to probably make a little... Uh, extension here oh i never continued producing dirt right oh i have 40 dirt so it's not so bad i'm gonna make a nine by nine of dirt again which means i'm gonna need 80 something dirt and we're going to put the botania set up in that corner okay and i'm also going to automate the tinker small tree lava so that i don't have to deal with missing lava anymore Whew. I, i'm 
you know, I'm exhausted just thinking about everything that needs to get done, but that's honestly the thing that I love the most about a new mod pack. The beginning's always amazing. There's always so much to do. It only gets annoying when you get toward the end and it's all like just waiting or mass production of something. Like this one's gonna have a tough end because we're going to need singularity and we're going to need to produce shit ton of resource. Hopefully I'm gonna find ways to make it not so bad because the singularity in this needs 3000 of each item. So we're going to see. I don't know how well it's going to go, but we're going to try our best. So I'm going to end on this, uh, on the storage network, because I feel that's my biggest accomplishment. And I'm going to just go and work, work, work. And I'm going to do a lot of the bees because the bees are really easy. You see easily if there's one bee that's hard to get because you need a specific material. I'll make sure to say that in an episode so that you guys know. But uh, that's the, the simple way. Also, I think, you know what I'm going to do? In the description of my episode, I'm going to try to write the bees that we got so that uh, when I start the next episode, I can just say, oh, in the time lapse, I bred X, Y, Z, K, L, M, N, O, P, bees so that you guys know. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.